Hi, I'm Andy Hagar with Hagnificent Insurance, here to tell you about our whole life insurance policy. Unlike that pesky term life insurance, which you probably won't use because dying's for old people, our whole life insurance has a guaranteed death benefit, and you own it for your whole life. We offer a $1 million whole life insurance policy for $825 a month, which you will pay every single month until you die. Unlike term life insurance, which expires after 20 or 30 years, and then the premiums go up, <laughs> they are about 1 16th cheaper than our whole life insurance policy. Our whole life policies have a cash value. You're not gonna find that with term life. They have a guaranteed rate of return, about 2%, but could go up to four to 5%. Sure, you could take the difference between our very high-priced whole life insurance policies and very cheap term life insurance policies and invest the difference into a very good index fund with a long-term track record so that by the time you die, you'll have way more than our $1 million policy. Over 50 years, that $825 growing at 7% would actually end up being $4.5 million by the time you die. But you're not gonna do that because you're a scaredy marshmallow and you need a guy in a suit to tell you what to do. <laughs> Which is exactly what I'm counting on because I've got two baby mama that need alimony and mama needs commissions. Let's talk about that cash value that comes with your policy that grows as you make payments. Not all of your premium goes towards the cash value. I keep about three years worth of your premiums before you even start to make a dime. And yes, you could make a lot more money if you were to invest that into other investments. Oh, I'm not allowed to call it an investment. It's an asset. An asset that grows slowly over time as you give us more and more money. But it's not an investment, it's an asset. The great thing about the cash value of your policy is that you can borrow against it. Sure, you could go to a bank and get a traditional loan, but the idea of being your own bank gives you fanciful ideas about useless kitchen remodels and very expensive vacations that you'll drag your kids along and they'll whine through the whole thing or probably not even remember. Or you could save up for these things on your own. Oh wait, no, you can't. I'm taking all your disposable income. Oops. Did you notice how I said you could borrow against it? Yeah we're gonna need that money back. And good luck paying it back since the premiums are already half the price of a mortgage. <laughs> and speaking of that cash value, I do keep that when you die. Well, I guess you might end up with an honest insurance agent that would write the policy so that you would keep the cash value when you die, but uh, I guess you'll never really know if he's honest till it's too late, huh? Hey, your premiums are guaranteed never to go up. We don't have to raise them. They're already super high. Should you fall on hard times after surrender your policy, which most people do, don't worry, you'll get the cash value back. Minus penalties and taxes, of course. And we're happy to do that because you've been giving us a lot of money for years and we're giving you very little in return. In fact, the longer you pay us these astronomical premiums without us having to give you your death benefit, the better. I just might be able to take on a third baby mama. Yes, there are circumstances where whole life insurance policies are actually a good idea, but those situations are pretty darn rare for the average American. But as long as I can sell you just the right amount of fear, I've done my job. Seriously guys, stay away from whole life. Go crush!